portion of Tetzavah features the clothes of the high priest. The high priest was the representative on behalf of the Jewish people before God. His main function was to atone for the Jewish people, as we see as his service in the temple during Yom Kippur. Each of the clothes of the high priest atoned for specific sins. The Me'il, the tunic, Medrash writes, atoned for murderer. This is very unusual. Murder being a capital offense. How is it that wearing a blue robe by the high priest could have an effect of atoning for murderers? The whole concept of the tunic atoning for murderers goes back to Joseph. When Joseph was sold into slavery, his brothers took the tunic that he was wearing, the special coat that his father gave him, and destroyed it, dipped it in blood, etc., and said, look, your son has been torn. The effect of murder on society at large is not just one that affects the perpetrator and the victim, but rather it has an effect on the entire society. It sullies, you might say, the entire culture, that here is a place where murderers survive. Even those murderers who are captured leave their effect in society. The high priest whose job was to atone for the Jewish people, was able to cleanse the society, to cleanse the culture, single-handedly on behalf of the Jewish people. How does this affect us today? Our sages tell us that just learning about things which we're not able to do is considered as though having done them. So in these few weeks that we're reading now about the building of the sanctuary, the vestments of the high priest, this has an, a spiritual effect of an atonement for things which are less than warranted among the community. In addition, a person has their own personal sanctuary, as it says, make for me a sanctuary that I should dwell in you meaning in the hearts of each and every single Jewish person. And so we have that vestment, you might say, in a figurative manner. The tunic covered a person from collar to toe, their entire body. Only the head protruded from the tunic. The intellect, the intellect, as it says in Hasidic philosophy, rules the heart, which controls the rest of the body. And so the lesson that we learn from the tunic is indeed that if we're going to atone even for, atone for our, even our own spiritual murder, the wanton destruction of spirituality, this can be atoned for by the brain ruling the heart and controlling our actions and making this world a dwelling for God. For the Uparsha, I'm Herschel Finman.